Hey there, Frozen Foxy here, and uh, I've been asked a lot recently about how I do my recordings. I don't do it with this. This is uh, Webcam Max right here, which is what I usually use for like streaming, and it also works kind of well as a desktop recorder, so that's why I'm using it right now. What I use um, normally because I'm like a PC gamer is going to be Fraps right here. And uh, Fraps costs about $37 to get and it basically allows you to open the video game and hit whatever your default capture key is to start recording. Now it's going to set up with your uh, default microphone here which I've got it set to uh, my creative microphone at the moment. And the creative, uh, you can see right over here, it's a creative fatality uh, gaming headset. Looks kind of like this thing. I don't really like to use this one just because it's uh, uncomfortable and it doesn't really have that great sound quality, but the problem is you sometimes are going to need this uh, right here, which is this uh, 1 8 inch 3.5mm uh, jack, and the reason that you need that is so that you can use uh, what's called a what you hear functionality. I normally have to use this for when I'm doing like co-ops or when I'm recording on Windows XP so I can get like the game sound along with my voice um, or my voice and a co-op partner. Um, now if I'm recording on Windows 7 solo then I like to use this which is the uh, Gamecom Pro uh, PC gaming headset from Plantronics and this particular headset is a USB headset which doesn't allow me to do what you hear um, but since I'm on Windows 7 I'm allowed to mix the USB along with my uh, what you hear and all that kind of stuff which makes it a lot better. Um, now once I've got a video that's all set then I'm going to basically open what's called Virtual Dub and what that allows me to do is uh, compress the video into a uh, different uh, compression rate because when it, once it comes out of wraps it's going to be pretty big somewhere in the uh, 4 gigabyte range per 3-4 minutes that kind of thing but I like to use this right here which is the uh, X264 VFW codec and that, that's a pretty good codec it's pretty clear um, you can either find that like on uh, Google by Googling for it, or I believe it's also in the K-Light Mega Codec pack. Now, um, once you have it compressed, you can upload it to YouTube really well. It's great. Um, but that is for, like, PC games. If you're going to be doing something else, like you're going to be doing PlayStation, then you're going to need something like a Dazzle right here. And what the Dazzle allows you to do is connect your PlayStation into um, the computer, basically. And I use uh, S-Video cables at the moment, um, which are better than your uh, composite cables. And so right here you have to get like this uh, PlayStation 3 S-Video cable, just so that you can connect it up. Now, um, originally I was using the uh, composite, and you'll see that with like Demon's Souls, where it was uh, doing that nasty flickering, and it was really dark. The other thing I need to get is uh, this distribution amplifier right here. And what that allows me to do is amplify the signal so that I don't get that flickering. Basically what happens is you uh, hook the PlayStation directly into the first one here, which is the source. Uh, this second one right here you're going to hook into the TV, and third one you're going to hook into the uh, Dazzle. And you're not going to be using these yellow inputs at all if you're using S-Video, which is on the top here. But um, basically what that does is amplify the signal so that you get a clearer picture. Now, this is not going to get you HD signal. If you want to get HD signal, you're going to need to get something like this uh, hodgepodge here. And what the hodgepodge will allow you to do is connect through uh, component cables. But you can check out this component cable right here uh, for PlayStation 3. Most of the stuff you can find on Amazon or Newegg, something like that. Um, but personally, I don't want to get a hodgepodge at the moment just because of the fact that it is uh, $200, or over, I should say. Um, but maybe eventually. I don't know. We'll see if I get one of these. I don't know if I will decide to get one or not. Anyways, once you've got your Dazzle and all that kind of stuff hooked up, you're going to use uh, whatever software comes with it. For this one, it comes with an uh, instant DVD recorder. And um, that gets you this little uh, screen over here, which is like um, the output coming from your PlayStation into your PC. Now, you'll notice this uh, 30 right here, this yellow 30. That means that Fraps is actually detecting this little window right here. 
which means I can use fraps to record it, which is actually what I like to do instead. Because this one, if you click start recording, will only allow you to record for 10 minute intervals, which is really annoying. Um, well, actually, I think it allows you to go to like 133, but me, I don't know. Sometimes I do over two hours and 130, or 113, 113. Um, and that's not going to cut it. Uh, over two hours, I'm going to be stuck with not being able to do it. So I use Fraps. And Fraps also allows me to mix uh, signals so that I can uh, get like co-op partners and all that kind of stuff. So it, it's good stuff. Anyway, if you want to go out and do this, I hope this stuff uh, helps you out a bit. And uh, enjoy the Let's Plays. Bye for now, everyone.